And today we are going to be chatting about, guess what? The struggle is real. Home buyers in um, 2022 and how things are going. So welcome everybody. I am Melissa Haley. Get myself all situated here for our Facebook Live. Um, welcome everybody. I am Melissa Haley. I am the real estate broker at North Texas Top Team Realtors. And like I said, tonight we're going to talk about the state of the real estate market in 2022, specifically for home buyers, but also a little caution for sellers. Um, while we're waiting for everybody to jump on our Facebook Live, I do want to quickly introduce everybody. Tonight, I have Brittany Frost with me, and Brittany is an awesome realtor. She works at our office at North Texas Top Team. So welcome, Brittany. Hey there, Melissa. So happy to be with you tonight. We definitely have a lot to talk about. You know, I am sure that we do. <laughs> um, this market is very complex and complicated. We have a lot to talk about. Awesome. All right. Well, so for everybody who's just joining in, we're just about to get started with our discussion and it's called The Struggle is Real buying a home in 2022. Um, but later, like I said, we're going to have some great stuff for you. If you would just stick with us, we've got some tips for you as a home buyer. We would love for you to follow us, like us, subscribe, all the things, because we are always providing great information to home buyers and sellers all across Texas, but especially in North Texas. So come check us out at North Texas Top Team. Um, all right. So while we're waiting for everybody to get here and waiting to get started, Brittany, can I ask you a couple of questions? I'd like to, I'd like to let people get to know you. Is that okay if I ask you a few questions? Yeah. Awesome. Go for it. All right. Well, so in order for people to know you a little bit better, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been in the real estate space? How long have you been in this business? Yeah. So I have been doing real estate for a little over a year and a half. I was born and raised in Texas, so I love living in North Texas. My background is actually in architecture and interior design, but after a few years in the corporate world, I decided to get my real estate license. So here I am. Um, I still provide design services for my clients if need be, um, which has been a fun bonus that I can offer. That is so cool. I love it that you have an architecture and interior design background. That's so cool. Yeah. I love it. It's fun. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that people get to know you just a little bit before we get started, because I also know besides architecture, besides interior design, besides real estate, I just know you are an expert in all things houses, right? All things real estate. And I know you're going to have some really great information for our viewers today. So I just appreciate you. And thank you again for taking the time to be with us. Absolutely. I'm so happy to be here. Awesome. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So for those of you who are just now logging on, you have really great timing. We're just about to start. The topic we're gonna chat about tonight is one you've probably heard on the news or maybe in a podcast. We, we titled the topic for tonight, The Struggle is Real, Buying a Home in 2022. <laughs> Now, I know I mentioned that at the end of the night, we're gonna have a link so you can get some free information from us just so you know what it is. The top eight tips for home buyers. That'll be good information if you are planning to buy a house this year um, or heck anytime, it's still good tips for home buyers. We're gonna talk about the struggle. The struggle is real. It really, it really is real, right, Brittany? Yeah, it's real. <laughs> yeah, I, I know it's hard for everybody. So tell, tell us, T t tell us a little bit about what's happening out there. Do you see if there's, is there any end in sight? Uh, that's not what we're seeing, unfortunately. So over, it's been hard for the past couple of years and it's not looking like there's any relief just yet. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I totally agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, as much as I maybe don't want to, I, I kind of agree with you here. Um, I, I'll even just tell you, in fact, I was listening to a Dallas Morning News podcast just the other day. It was I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they had a whole segment where this reporter was following these families and they were moving to the DFW area from out of out of the Metroplex. They were coming from other places and he was telling their stories. And of course, their stories, you know, are, are stories that all of us real estate agents all across the country can relate to and home buyers all across the country could relate to. Right. The home buyers were making offers, they were losing in multiple offer bidding wars. 
the home buyers were frustrated, the realtors were frustrated and sad and, you know, trying to help their clients. Um, and it's just how this current real estate market is working. Is, is that, is that still what you're seeing when you're working with your buyer clients right now? Yes, definitely. In fact, it's just, it's not just hard for home buyers today. It's also complicated for home sellers. So home buyers are frustrated and losing out on housing when competing with other home buyers. However, on the other hand, home sellers also have to be careful because there are some predatory investors and buyers out there who are making offers on houses that are not in the best interest of the seller. Those off-market buyers are trying to take advantage of sellers who don't know what the real value of the property is, and then they're reselling it uh, for more money. So basically, they're stripping the seller of some of their equity. And it's definitely a complex and complicated real estate market right now. This is exactly why you need a realtor more than ever at this time. Our knowledge and experience is invaluable. So wait a minute, just for, I'm gonna <laughs> backtrack for just a second. So stripping the seller of their equity. Yeah. I mean, gosh, you've lived there for a long time. You've been paying and paying and paying, and now you could have sold here but this investor came in and just said, well, I'll offer you this and people are doing it is, am I, am I right? Is that what you just said? Yeah, because people don't understand the, the value of their home right now. Oh, wow, man. Okay, so the struggle is real, not mm -hmm. only for home buyers, but also for owners and sellers, which yeah. I think a lot of people may not have understood, but sounds, yeah. sounds right, is that right? That's right. Yeah, it is. In fact, some homeowners who don't even want to sell are being solicited by multiple investors and buyers. They could be getting letters in the mail or even getting calls from telemarketers trying to find an unsuspecting seller. Many times the home seller believes the person has a real estate license, but most of the time they don't. This can make the consumer think less of those of us who actually do have a license and are more qualified to give them better information. Yeah. And you know what? That's so unfortunate because I know what you're talking about. I get the letters. Yeah. As a real estate professional, we get letters too. <laughs> that one last week. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Um, and you know, I think it is unfortunate because I know that real estate agents are required to follow so many rules that protect the consumer. And it, it really does stink if an unlicensed person who doesn't have to follow the rules they can make the public feel like they're unsure if they can trust a licensed real estate agent. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you think that the public can do to protect themselves? That's kind of a tricky question. Yeah, it can be really kind of confusing for the public, but I would suggest that if a property owner is contemplating selling their property to someone that solicited them, first ask if they have a real estate license. And if they do, then I would follow up with that and say specifically, are you a realtor? Not all license holders are realtors and license holders must follow the law, but realtors are held to a higher standard because they also have to follow a strict code of ethics that helps to protect the consumer. Aha, uh -huh. see, I think that's very good for people to know, right? That some people may not know, like you said, that there are real estate agents and then there are realtors and a realtor has to follow a more strict code of ethics. I, I don't think everybody knows that. That's really good information. Yeah. Um, all right. So thinking about that being good information, I am sure somebody today that's watching this is probably learning about a way that they could help protect themselves or maybe protect one of their family members from somebody who, who might be basically, maybe not even on purpose, but trying to take advantage of them. And so I have to wonder, the real estate market is pretty unpredictable right now. Mm -hmm. Do you think that people might believe, well, this is just a bubble and it's all just gonna, it's all just gonna blow over or what? Is that what you're hearing out there? I'm hearing it, I'm reading it on my news feed, but the fact of the matter is that there's really no indication of a housing bubble. Um, in fact, most people are starting to feel the effects of inflation on their everyday lives. 
such as the, ca- the cost of groceries. I mean, that's all in the media as well, um, gas, et cetera. This is happening in the real estate market at a really high level. Aha. Uh-huh. So, okay. So, I mean, I get it. Gas was like $5 a gallon the other day when I filled up. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, everything, the prices are just up. So why do you think that home prices are so high right now? What's causing, what, I mean, it's one thing for gas to go from like $2 to $3 to $5. It's another thing for a house to go from $200,000 to $500,000. What is causing the steep inflation on home prices? Yeah, that's a great question. So this isn't new information, um, but home prices began to really climb during the early days of the pandemic back in 2020. We already had a housing shortage back then. Then you add in the shortage of labor with builders because we had entire crews that were off work due to COVID protocols. And then we also had some supply chain issues. Remember when lumber prices were so high, which they're yes, just that was so crazy. Yeah, ridiculous. And on top of that, people started to work from home, which freed them to move across the country and live in these highly desirable places like North Texas. And this just caused more demand for houses in the DFW area. Also, one more thing is interest rates were still really low. Um, And so all of these things kind of came together and created this perfect storm for the housing industry. Yeah, I mean, when you break it down like that, it does totally make sense. And I do think it's really great information for people to just understand it's it's not a bubble. Sounds like mm-hmm. it's really just inflation and houses probably just started to have some inflationary pricing first, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. So seeing as how it seems like it is, like I think, what did you say? You called it the perfect storm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the perfect storm in the real estate space. Um, it doesn't seem like it's very good news for a home buyer but it seems like it might be some pretty good news for a home seller. I mean, gosh, what a great return on their investment. I mean, this is why we tell people to buy houses, right? It's because it's a good long-term investment. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Melissa. In fact, one of my past clients bought a house with me not too long ago for $250,000. And now she's ready to sell because it's gone up almost $100,000 in just a couple of years or in a short time. So yeah. 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 And you know what? She's not the only one. I'm hearing all yeah. kinds of people. You know what else they're complaining about right now is their tax values. Yeah. <laughs> they're just all up a hundred thousand dollars. God, yeah. just incredible out there. Man. Yeah, definitely. And in fact, as of last month, the median sales price of homes in the DFW area is up 21.8% since last year. And for the entire year last year, our active listings are down 43.7%, which means we have close to half of the houses available to sell that we did a year ago. And when we have less inventory and we also have a really high demand, it just keeps pushing prices higher. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Supply and demand. It works for everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but I'll have to say those numbers are pretty staggering. 21.8% 21.8% increase in the median the median sales price. And then of course the listings being down. So, okay, so let me just think this through. For people who bought a home over the past year or even longer ago, sounds like they have so much more equity in their home today. And again, that just takes me back to, this is why it's a good example of why people should invest in real estate. So why you need to buy a house, right? Um, yeah. 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 I mean, it just (laughs) makes sense. So let me bring up, let me ask you another question, Brittany. So we've already learned that the market's complicated. We know it's unpredictable right now. There's a lot of moving parts. Mm -hmm. Some people might've been planning to buy a house and now they might be hearing all this and they're like, okay, it's not a bubble, but it's so expensive. And they're just thinking, and maybe they're thinking interest rates are up and they started to think, maybe I should just wait. I should just buy later. What is your advice to that person? Yeah, I can, I get that a lot and buyers are just intimidated right now because of, like you said, the uncertainty. But the first thing I would want to do is make sure that they understand that buying a house is always a good long-term investment. 
So, I mean, we just talked about the home that has increased in just a short amount of time, much less those homes that have increased since 10 years ago. Sure. So yeah, in order to buy a home right now, a person will need to be even more well qualified than maybe they have been in the past. For example, a home buyer will likely have to pay higher than the asking price, and they may even need to pay higher than an appraised value. When that happens, the buyer must be prepared to pay not only their down payment and closing costs, but also the difference above that appraised value. When home with home prices starting near $400,000 in the suburban areas north of Dallas, that can mean that a home buyer needs to have upwards of $25,000 just to get started in the process, but they will most likely need closer to $50,000 or more in order to actually get under contract to buy a house. So that's a really big pill to swallow for first time home buyers. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have that kind of money when I was a first time home buyer. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, no. all right. Based on all of this, it kind of, it, so here's what I'm hearing. You can tell me if I'm, if I'm on track here, but it sounds like it's really hard for home buyers right now that want to buy a house. So with that being said, what, what should somebody do if they're just really not in a position to buy right now? I mean, it is an unprecedented time, right? Maybe they're just not in, in the position if they don't have that kind of money saved up, what what should they do? Yeah, it's true. And some people are just not going to be able to buy right now. It's just, you know, the state of things. But I don't want them to give up hope and I don't want them to throw in the towel just yet. So if you're listening to this, don't give up. I have had a few first time home buyers change their location to look slightly further outside. Um, and they found some pretty affordable homes. Um, and they didn't have as many comp as much competition or as many people bidding on that home. Okay, that makes sense. So maybe you know, right in the middle of Dallas, right in the middle of Frisco, might might not be my spot. But if yeah. I go a little farther out, there there might actually be some options for me. Yes, that's correct. Some people are just not in a position to make a move. But before you give up, make sure to give us a call and talk about all of your options. Yeah, I mean, that totally makes sense. And it sounds good. They should call, right? Because you you may be able to assist them and find them something that they didn't know. You, you just might know more things about the market that they didn't know. Does that sound right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, so, all right. Let's change gears just a little bit. Let's talk about those buyers who are ready to buy. Maybe mm -hmm. they want to buy in a bigger city or whatever. Maybe they're just ready and they have some money. Um, so they've got this money saved up. They're ready to take the plunge. They might have been saving their money for a long time, or maybe they just sold another house somewhere so they have a little cash in their pocket. Um, mm -hmm. If that's the case, they're probably aware of what's happening in the market. And maybe they're going to be in a little bit more of a position to be able to, you know, pay whatever it really takes to get a house. What is, what's your advice for them? Because even if I have money, I don't want to spend it all. I, I want a good deal. So what, what's your advice for those folks? Yeah, so the first step would be to find a great realtor that you can trust. Make sure they have experience in helping buyers right now in this complex market. If your agent doesn't know what tips and tricks they need to use to help you actually buy a house, then you will just be wasting your time and you will end up super frustrated and heartbroken. Talk with your agent about the real estate market. Get realistic about what it will take to obtain the house and ask them what you need to do and then commit to actually doing it. So you'll also need to make sure you have a great conversation with a mortgage lender to understand the financial implications. You may need to even consider companies that help you by providing a cash backed offer to help eliminate your financing contingencies. And these are just um, some specialty, there are some, sorry, there are some specialty products out there today that can help. So your realtor should be able to help you in assisting and finding those um, that, and, you know, the ones that are a right fit for you. Yeah. And once you are armed with this knowledge, you will be so much more prepared to start the process. I love it that you said these are just to some of the things, <laughs> just yeah. some of the things you can do. Um, because I do think it seems like a really good start, right? Like I've got some cash or I'm going to become a cash backed buyer. But 
I know there are still some buyers out there and they're making offers and they are just not getting accepted because the competition's really fierce out there right now, right? Yeah, it's true. Many home buyers are making offers and they're still getting outbid. Mm. Sometimes they're not, it's not that they're not getting the home because they are unable to pay more, but sometimes they're not willing to spend the money even if they have it. Uh -huh. So that is why it's so important to have a good conversation with your agent and your lender because before you even start the process. Um, so that way you have a better understanding again of how much you're going to have to stretch yourself outside of that comfort zone. It's not enough to just be pre-approved for a mortgage anymore. You really have to be willing to be aggressive and think long-term about your investment. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because if you're thinking, gosh, I'm paying so much, you really do have to keep in mind that it's long-term later someday it's going to be worth more even than today yeah. yeah yeah well all right so i can imagine if i'm thinking it through right if i'm a home buyer and i'm making bids on houses and i'm i'm not getting them i can imagine i would be very frustrated right i would be like oh, i'm homeless like i would just be so frustrated by the whole process and I gotta think, real estate agents are working so hard right now. I mean, you're doing your job over and over and over again and still not getting paid. So it's gotta be frustrating for you as a real estate agent too. I mean, is that, are you feeling that? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's correct. That's why the title of this Facebook Live is The Struggle is Real. <laughs> and it is. The struggle is real for home buyers and for real estate agents, but also everyone else that's involved in the process. Oh, yeah. So many home buyers are touring homes and sending offers every week. Some have been doing this every week for several months um, and still haven't been able to buy a house. And again, sometimes this is because of the competition to buy the house includes investors that are home buyers who plan to buy the home for rental purposes. And even if those investors are paying cash, then it's difficult for an owner occupant buyer to get in the house because they need a mortgage. Yeah. So a seller will likely be more interested in working with a buyer that doesn't have a financing contingency, which is why the cash investor may get, may beat them out in that offer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I'm a seller and I'm like mortgage, which is a little more shaky or cash, cash is king. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. it all does make sense. Um, you know, you had some solutions a minute ago. Okay. So you were talking about like turning yourself into a cash backed buyer, that kind of thing. So tell me a little bit about these creative solutions that you have, these creative programs that you're aware of that are available to home buyers today. Um, I, because I feel like if I'm a home buyer, I need some flexibility. I need to have a stronger offer. And I would, I would be like looking to my realtor to be the expert to get creative and help me make my offer stand out. Can can you talk a little bit more about the things that you might do to help me if I was a home buyer? Yeah. So again, we've been really hustling hard for our buyers lately because of this. It's an extra step really. And so we're looking outside the box to help our home, home buyers. I don't want to give away all of our secrets, but we are doing things like finding homes that are not listed on the MLS and converting our buyers who would normally be financing into cash buyers. We have also been creative with offer terms that help the sellers maximize their profit. And again, this is why it's so important for a home buyer to hire an experienced real estate agent that really knows the contracts and has the ability to think outside of the box. It's not enough today for a buyer to just look on realtor.com for houses and make an offer at or below list price. The agent has to be creative and bring some solutions and the buyer has to truly understand what the plan is to help them reach their goal of homeownership. Yeah, I love that you shared some of those secrets and I love it that you said, you know, the agent has to have the creative solutions, but gosh, the buyer has to get it. Yeah. The buyer has to be on board, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
And I think that that's important. And I think it totally makes sense when you really break it down and think about it. If, because here's what I'm thinking. If every other offer that I'm getting, if I'm a seller is all the same $5,000 above list or heck $50,000 above list or whatever it is, they're yeah. all agreeing to pay this price and they're all giving me the same terms. It it does sound like it's gonna be a whole lot harder for a home buyer to just figure out a way to stand out in the crowd, right? So I can totally see in this conversation that there is some value to having a really great realtor and probably more value today than ever before. And personally, just talking to you and kind of hearing how this works, I think I think if you got a good realtor who's doing all the things, all the extra things, they're worth every penny of their commission that they're earning. Don't you think? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. We are really working hard for our clients, especially in this current real estate market. Yeah, I mean, I totally get it. And I just... I don't know what else to say except for you are brilliant. I love the things that you that you've got and the ideas for buyers. And I know I know we're running out of time here, so I'm just going to say thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you for sharing your great information. I really enjoyed chatting with you about it. Um, I hope our viewers got some good information tonight. So yeah. thanks for being here. We appreciate you. Absolutely, I had so much fun. Thanks for having me. Of course, we love having you. <laughs> um, I just love talking to real estate agents about what's happening in the market and especially when they know what's going on like you. So yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> um, all right. So last little note for folks that are that are listening in tonight. It sounds like right now the market is overwhelming. I mean, just just man, it's complicated. And this is why you need a realtor to help you through the process, regardless of if you're buying or you're selling a house. Thank you again to you. I super, super appreciate you taking the time today to share your experience and your expertise with everybody. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Absolutely, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Awesome. All right, so everybody, before we go, if you want more information about the real estate market, first of all, Check the chat and then look for that link where you can sign up to get our free report, Eight Tips for Home Buyers in 2022. Also, please like us, follow us, share us, subscribe, all the things because you want to stay in tune with what we've got going on. But boy, if you want more information about the home buying or selling process or heck, any other real estate market data in North Texas, check us out. Give us a call. Our team of experts are here to help you with all things real estate. And uh, we really hope you guys have a great night. We can't wait to see you again next month on our next Facebook Live. Um, and Brittany, do you know what we're talking about next month? Is it interest rates? Interest rates, they are going up. And, but again, don't worry because we have creative solutions. Of course we do. Yeah. That's because you're smart. <laughs> and impressive as a realtor. I am super excited to know you and have you on the team. Uh, but yeah, next month, we'll talk about those interest rates and all the things that go along with that. So everybody have a great night. Thanks for joining us on Facebook Live and we'll see you next time.